Good afternoon. So uh, today we are doing Ben Lomond in the uh, Loch Lomond and Trossex National Park area of Scotland. It's a Munro, I think nine, nine, seven, four meters, something like that. And most of that hikes pretty much from sea level. So I think it's a tough one in terms of climb. Got to get up there. So the distance is quite a long route. The morning weather was terrible. So it seems stable now. Forecast is stable, but obviously that could turn at any point. Um, so I've had a really late start, half past three in the afternoon. The time is going to be probably five hours. So I've allowed a maximum of six with the daylight. And um, good fitness, you can do it in like just over four. So four and a half would be a really good time. But I reckon five probably. So we'll be back before it gets dark, given that there shouldn't hopefully not any issues. But I would advise to start earlier, it's a bit late. So we're following the tourist path um, because given the time and the weather, this avoids at least getting lost. So that's one positive. Very easy, made, well made path. It's just a walk all the way, there's no scrambling, nothing challenging technically. So that's the thought behind that one. So um, hopefully be good views and um, we'll see you in a bit. Lovely views already. The cloud level's lifting quite high now. Views over the lock up to Ben Bain, Ben Vorlick, that area. Views of the Ptarmigan Ridge on the right. Sorry, on the left. Ben Lomond Summit, which is just shrouded in cloud. So we've got our first steep ascent, which is coming up now. Then up that ridge, it's quite flat for a while. And then you get a second big ascent up onto the top. So two big ascents to come, and a bit of a flatter bit in the middle. Beautiful lock views already. So we're about a third now, distance wise. But we're going quite fast, given the, the light conditions. We're gonna fade at five hours from now. So it should be okay, but we've gotta be safe. So yeah, it should be fine. If it suddenly turns, I'm going to just turn that down because it is late in the day. We'll see how we get on. We'll come up a bit higher. Amazing view of the lake with all the, of the locks, sorry, with all the islands. Uh, it's really stunning. And over towards Stirling. Maggie's enjoying the long grass. And now reached flatter ground. So been about an hour, which is fairly, I think I'm doing quite a good distance for the time. I have gone as quick as I can to my ability. Um, we have got a very nice path and it's all going well. Few in the distance there of the cobbler, Ben Arthur, Ben Narnane, Arakar Alps, where we were the other day. Um, and you can see the start of the clag there. Clag level's probably at about six to seven hundred meters, as a guess. I'm gonna there's a distinctive feature in the landscape there, this spike. If you can see that little little kind of spiky outcrop on the ridge. So I'm going to find that on the map and use that as a reference point of how far I've got. I only have paper maps, I don't have any advanced technology with me. Um, so I'll have a look. 
I think that spikes at about 650 as a guess, something like that. So I'm hoping that there's a chance we could ascend through that clag um, and actually clear the clag and get a view on the top. But you know, there's a chance that we won't, and it's just going to be all missed. But we'll see how we go. Uh, I think it's certainly going to get cold when we get in that stuff. So we've packed plenty of layers. Right, I'm going to crack on as uh, time's still pressing. So um, I've had a look at the map. This little sort of teat here is at 750. So the top of that little mound there, 750. So then you've got a really tough ascent from that point of a, a solid, this 200 meters. Well, it's tough after you've done this much already. And then um, you hit a flat plateau bit, which which is the, the top of the that's the 900 meter plateau. So yeah, it's Tarmigan Ridge, which is at about I think about 700, 750. So that's where the cloud level is. And um, yeah, so just got to get to the 750 point, and then I know then I've only got 200 meters left. So hopefully been about an hour and a half now just under so at the moment we're still doing good for time if I can do the last bit in an hour then that'll be fine if I think from the 750 point if it's taking me more than an hour then I'm going to turn back for time's sake but hopefully it'll be okay So that clag has blown through the valley, which is good. So it's very clear now. Summit looks clear. It's tiring. About 800 now. Maybe 7, 7, 80, something like that, as a guess. And now we're on the really steep bit here. So um, this is the tough bit now. It's been all right up until now. This last bit is a Sting in the tail. <sighs> Amazing views. Oh, it's really steep this bit. We got friends that would run. My partner Kate's grandpa was an elite fell runner. He'd run this in like an hour and a half and then do another five that day or more. They're just unstoppable. I'm definitely not that, never will be. But a tip for average fitness people, or people new to walking, small steps when it gets really steep and you get tired, conserves energy. Just little small steps, that helps. I think I've got about uh, 75 metres left. Alright, getting there. It's a very easy path though, nice to walk on. There's no technical uh, skills needed at all, which is good. We're getting there slowly. Well, our time's been pretty good actually, for an average person. We're getting there. Wow, this quarry is incredible. And we've hit our first snow patch. And that's in stunning view. And here we go. This is the last summit pull. Max, come on. She's eating the snow. And here is the clag that we've just hit. Lost visibility for a bit, but it's come back now. It's amazing views of this quarry. It's stunning. She's enjoying eating some snow. Right, last pull, hopefully 10 minutes, and that'll make it a two and a half hour ascent, which is just under actually, which, which is for me I'm happy with. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, it's a false summit, the last one, so <laughs> I'm hoping this one is the real thing. Gotta be. 
is hitting this clag again. But hopefully we climb above it. I think I've got another, oh, I don't know, 50 meters left, maybe like 30. It's a tough climb actually, I'm very tired now. Looking forward to getting back down. Very beautiful though. Okay, hopefully the last push. We made it. Ben Lomond Summit, second Munro. And we've climbed above the cloud level for a spectacular view. And we have the summit to ourselves, given this is so popular. Oh, I'm tired though. <laughs> Goodness me. I get tired at about 800 meters because that's usually the Snowdonia ones I'm used to in terms of climb. Training needed for that last 200 meters. Bags, here. This keeps running off. Some beautiful views of the Arakar Alps. Loch Lomond. Trossachs and um, the snow covered northern slope slopes there. Views into the Corrie. And cloud being blown over that ptarmigan ridge. Let's just come over this side. Uh, comfortably done two Munros. Very, very fit dog. He's doing well. Right, we're going to get down. Enjoy the views for a minute. It's very warm up here. I'm only in a uh, light wind blocker and um, jumper, that's it. It's very warm given the time of year. That's absolutely beautiful. One of the best views I've ever seen. Best view of the day of Loch Lomond now, now that cloud's gone. It's really beautiful, all the little islands. It's really stunning. Right, I'm gonna get down. I hope you've enjoyed that one. I won't show anything on the way down because it's pretty much the same as the way up. And um, I've loved Scotland. Best walking I've done, I think. Very challenging. And um, look forward to coming back again. See you next time. Just show you this on the way down. Just so beautiful and peaceful now. Sun's out. No winds, it's warm, doesn't feel like Scotland, and that caps off a perfect walk.